Hey everyone, today I'm going to be doing an eye look using the Tom Ford palette in Orchid Haze. And this was a requested video from when I did a haul. And then a couple hauls ago, uh, some of you had requested a review on the Givenchy or the Givenchy bronzer. So I will also be using that product and kind of talking a little bit about it. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I'd love to hear your comments down below. So I've already applied my foundation, concealer, did my eyebrows and put on a little blush. For foundation, I use the Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Full Coverage Foundation, and this is in light sand, and I just used a Beauty Blender dupe to apply that with. And then for concealer, I use the Kat Von D uh, Locket in 22, and I just have a little sample of this one. For the blush, I used the new Becca Beach Tint Shimmer Souffle, and this is in Raspberry Opal, which is very, very pretty. And I applied it using a stippling brush right here. And then for my eyebrows, I just used an angled brush and my e.l.f. duo here, and I just used this dark wax. So I thought I'd bring you in a little bit closer so you can see what I'm doing. I used the Too Faced Shadow Insurance to prime my eyes, and now I'm going to get started with the Tom Ford Orchid Haze Palette. And here's what it looks like. And I'm going to start off with this very light champagne color. It does have glitter in it. And I'm going to apply it using my Wayne Goss 06 brush. And I'm just applying it to this inner third of my eye. I really like how well these shadows blend. They are expensive though, which is sad. I got this on sale though, so. And I do have semi-hooded eyes, so it's kind of hard to see when I have my eyes just open regularly. I feel like I have to arch my eyebrows and close them so you can see what I'm actually doing. But next I'm going to be taking this color right here, dust my brush off, using that same brush, just applying it to this outer portion of my eye on the lid. And I almost want to bring it up just a tiny bit. And I'm in no way a makeup artist or anything like that. Just showing you what I like to do with this palette, kind of playing with the colors, trying something new. Okay, with a crease brush, I'm just using my Hello Kitty brush right here. I'm going to apply this color right here, this pink. Don't worry, I'll be cleaning this all up later. Now I'm going to be taking this deep plum shade and applying it with a angled brush, and this is just the e.l.f. one. And I'm just applying it to the outer half of my upper lid. I'm going to go in with my Naked Basics palette, and I'm going to go in with the color Walk of Shame just on my brow bone and to kind of blend out any um, lines that I have there. I'm actually going to pop a little bit of concealer on this little red dot. So I'm going to go in with this dark plum color again and just go under my eyes. I'm going to do the outer one third to one half of my eye. And I'm going to go in with this one and just do right underneath my eyes just to kind of blend out that purple a little bit. So here are my thoughts on the Tom Ford Orchid Haze. I love these colors. I think that they are perfect if you work in a professional environment um, just for going out. I think it's a really beautiful, smoky, plum look, and I love it. The colors are so blendable. They go well together, and I love this quad. So that's, those are my thoughts on that. Also, in this video, I wanted to do a little bit of a review on this Givenchy bronzer that I mentioned in a haul video. A couple of you had asked me to do a review on this. Here's how much I have left of this. And I've totally used quite a bit. I do like this. This actually blends and looks really good with the self-tanner that I have on right now. I'm just going to apply it to um, my forehead as well as do it just a little tiny bit of a contour. 
uh, with this. So I'm just using a Tarte blush brush for this. And it does have a little bit of a shimmer. It's definitely a golden -y color. And it's pretty, but I don't think that it's for every single skin tone. I feel like it would go really well um, with people who have yellow or more warmer skin tones. And I do think it's rather expensive. I feel like you get a lot of bronzer, but I do think that it's fairly expensive. And I have to use a natural bristle brush with this. If I don't, I feel like it creates a little bit of a hard pan on this. I do think that this was probably marked up because of the beautiful design that was on it and that it was limited edition. But it is pretty, it's very, very nice. highlight. This is the Laura Geller Eye Elements Baked Eyeshadow and Highlighter Sand and Sea. I don't really like the shadows. I don't feel like, I just don't really like them. But I really like this highlight so I'm just going to go in with the Sigma Tapered Highlighter F35 and just apply it right here. Tops my cheekbones and my cupid's bow. And that's all the highlighting I'm going to do. I'm going to curl my eyelashes using the Lancome eyelash curler and then apply my Dior x Taste mascara and I'm not going to wear false eyelashes today, I'm just going to do how I would if I was going out grocery shopping or something like that. So. And my last step I'm going to apply this MAC lipstick in Pure Zen. I want to go through one last time and blend my shadow with this Hakuhodu J5533 brush just to kind of blend things out, meld the colors a little bit. And here's the close-up. final look. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. It really does help me out. And also, I hope I provided you guys with some good, helpful information with uh, regarding these two products. I hope you guys have a good day. I hope you enjoyed this, and thanks for watching. Hmm? Oh my gosh, I forgot that this had that on there. I put bronzer on that brush earlier. <laughs> All right. Time to play. Fix this up. <laughs> and I hope I gave you some helpful tints. Tints. And this is the Laura Gella Eye Gella. 